for as long as Canadian politics have existed, there's been this history of the idea of a brokerage party. These parties that don't have any sort of like organizing belief or value, they're just trying to bring people together under a common banner to make things marginally better. It's a very pluralistic sort of idea. It's meant to bring people together and build consensus. The problem is it doesn't really get anything done. So liberalism is fundamentally kind of a politics of brokerage. Like ask yourself, what are the fundamental underlying principles of the Liberal Party? Like what do they actually believe in as a group? If you had to boil down the Liberal Party to a few keywords, challenge, you can't throw in any meaningless buzzwords like people or caring. It's, it's nothing. There's a political equivalent of that one episode of The Simpsons where he's trying to keep his lobsters and his fish alive so he's adding salt just enough to half kill both of them. That's liberalism. So Canada's always had at least one of these parties hanging out in the political center, trying to find ideas that basically everyone can agree on. And they wind up giving the economy and the country gentle nudges because that's kind of all you can bring together broad consensus on without any sort of organizing principles. And so as we talked about earlier, the NDP used to have principles once upon a time. Just look at this document from the last time they laid out their party's guiding principles. They believed in socialism, just for starters. And honestly, if they embraced this stuff, they would begin actually making gains in the polls. But they're taking a different approach, and it's a lot more like what the conservatives are embracing. Populism. So that word gets thrown around a ton, but it very seldom gets actually defined. So the idea is just to try to appeal to groups who feel disregarded by the establishment. It's to reach for the politics of the ordinary people. And this usually revolves around framing yourself as being anti-elitist. Maybe it's making fun of Justin Trudeau for being fancy, making fun of experts for being eggheads. But if somebody's a part of an established authority structure or intelligentsia, they're to be hated, mocked, and derided. Especially ignored. Because the people know best. And conservatives have historically occupied that space. Especially the more far-right conservatives that used to be reformed, but now have been brought into a larger party. Sort of the knee-jerk reactionary wing of the party. It's always existed, but Stephen Harper kind of managed to keep it under control. But now the NDP seem to have abandoned principle, at least in no small part. And provincially, the party seems to be trying to become brokerage parties, just bringing people together under the idea of being better than the conservatives. Like, provincial NDP wind up veering ideologically much closer to federal liberals. But the federal NDP policy has been largely indecipherable. Like, what do they actually believe in anymore? The recent ads have all been talking about people and haven't really mentioned workers at all. But the workers are the fundamental underpinning of the party until very recently. And they believe in public health care and public dental, but they're doing it through private insurers, which isn't a very NDP thing to do. And on top of all that, you've got Jigmeet Singh politically bumbling constantly, and you've got a recipe for disaster. You've got a recipe for politics that a lot of Canadians don't feel represented by. We talk all the time about low voter turnouts, and the solutions that are often talked about are things like mandatory voting. But that's not what's going to do it. We need better options, because it turns out that if you have a political system completely devoid of any values or beliefs for decades, eventually right-wing populism takes hold. Who could have seen that coming except all of history forever? So how do we do that? Ah, that's a much bigger question for another time. I'm thinking really hard about doing an electoral reform special because I think that the answer really involves getting rid of the first-past-the-post system. That really leads to this oppositional form of politics that we currently work in, where the only way to get elected is to portray yourself as being better than that awful other guy, rather than having better ideas. And it leads to a lot of horse race politics and a lot of brokerage parties. We need parties or organizations that are built around values and beliefs. We need fresh energy and fresh ideas in our politics. Electoral reform is one of the best ways to do that. And this incredibly ugly electoral cycle that we're about to go through is the direct consequence of Justin Trudeau's failure to bring forward electoral reform in 2015. We need to fix that mistake because Canadian democracy depends on it.